No doubt you've been hearing that the housing market is in trouble, crashes are coming, foreclosures and mass are predicted, and more. But is it the same state to state? Does the data back up the talking points? What does it mean for Montana? And can you finally get that dream home on the cheap? In this video, we will discuss the nation as a whole before narrowing in on Montana, and then finally diving into Northwestern Montana predictions and statistics. I'm Janet with Radiant Realty, your Montana realtor. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay well. And don't be shy. I love reading your comments and answering any questions that you have. And if you are looking to buy or sell a property here in Montana, definitely reach out to me. I would love to hear more about your needs. And if you do find anything in here helpful or useful, please do give a big thumbs up. Okay, let's dive into the data. The best way to predict what's ahead is to take a look back. So let's quickly take a look at some statistics from the National Association of Realtors. If we look at the current state of mortgage delinquency for 90 plus days, we see that we are near the historical low with spikes, of course, in 2009 and 10 and 2020 and 21. Likewise, distressed home sales are at an all time low. When we look at new single family homes being built, we see that we've been below average for the past 10 years with a brief spike in 2021. It is interesting to contrast that with the above average new builds in the 10 years prior to 2008. Likewise, employment is important and all states are not created equal in job creations. Since the onset of COVID, in this map, the green and light green states have a significant increase in payroll job additions post-COVID, while the yellow represents a slight increase, and the orange and red have decreased payroll jobs available. Now, when we look at mortgage rates, we all know they've been rising throughout 2022, making that dream of home ownership seem less attainable. However, we had a silver lining at the end of the year with a slight decrease in rates, a little gift to those December home buyers. So what does all this data mean? Is a home price crash coming? In this chart, we compare the data from the last housing crash and the current housing cycle. In the last housing cycle, we had 8 million job cuts compared to none this time. 130 million payroll jobs versus 153 million currently. Subprime loans, those nasty loans with inflated interest rates to offset the greater anticipated risks were very prevalent last cycle, virtually non-existent this time around. Five-year cumulative new home construction, 7.65 million versus 4.6 million. Inventory on market close to 4 million versus 1.2 million. Mortgage delinquency, 10.1% versus 3.6%. Homes in foreclosure, 4.6% versus 0.6%. So let's take a look at a few countrywide predictions for 2023 before narrowing in on the state of Montana. The National Association of Realtors predicts that mortgage rates will decrease slightly throughout 2023, ending just under that 6% mark. They anticipate a slight increase in home sales from where we ended in 2022, but not exceeding the height of 2022. And in this annual forecast, they predict no change in home prices for 2023, with another increase predicted for 2024. Of note, 2022 ended with a 9.6% price increase on the year, even though most markets have seen price drops for the last half of 2022. The first half increase was so significant that we still ended with that 9.6% average increase on the year. So let's move on to Montana now. You're going to be looking at the stats in the far right column from the Montana Regional MLS, giving us the year to date as of November of 2022. December was not available yet. So for all residential properties in Montana, we saw a 6.2% decrease in new listings in 2022 versus 21 a 20.8% decrease in closed sales, a 76.1% increase in days on market, our median and average sales prices increased 12 to 17%, exceeding the national average increase we saw a minute ago. Percent of list price received is down 1% from over asking in 2021 to just under asking in 2022. And month supply of inventory for November of 2022 was 3.1 versus 1.6 in 2021. Meaning for Montana as a whole, it is still slightly in favor of the seller, but certainly closer to a balanced market. 
And for those of you who have messaged me about the price increases in Montana, this next graph is for you. Your sentiments are well validated. You can see the median sales price in 2019 was just above 250,000. And now at the end of 2022, it sits just above 450,000. So when you're reviewing property history, don't be surprised to see that it just might have nearly doubled in price since 2019. And while I realize this is incredibly frustrating to new buyers, take heart in the fact that prices are predicted to stay put for 2023 and then increase again moderately in 2024. Translation, you can breathe deep and dive in when you find the right property in 2023 while anticipating some home equity accruing in 2024. Now, let's quickly narrow in just a bit further to the Northwest Montana MLS stats before summing up our findings. For all residential properties in Northwest Montana, we saw a 10.6% decrease in new listings in 2022 versus 21, a 28.6% decrease in closed sales, a 97.9% .9 increase in days on market, our median and average sales prices increased 14 to 20%, again exceeding the national average increase for 2022. The percent of list price received is down one and a half percent from over asking in 21 to just under asking in 22. And month supply of inventory for November of 22 was 4.2 versus 1.8 in 21, meaning Northwest Montana as well is still slightly in favor of the seller, but certainly closer to a balanced market. So after viewing the data, what do you think? Is a housing crash imminent? Please comment below with your thoughts. If you are a seller heading into 2023, your position is strong, but you need to have realistic expectations for the new market. Make sure you are priced right and not chasing the market. Know that homebuyers are no longer waiving inspections and that the average days on market currently sits for Northwest Montana anyway at around 130 days. If you are a buyer in 2023, you can breathe a sigh of relief. You will no longer find yourself in a multiple offer situation with 20 other offers on the same property. However, when priced right, properties are still going quickly and at certain price points, you might find yourself in a multiple offer situation. You can ask the seller to remedy certain inspection items related to health and safety, but let's not get carried away. Most of the other items are still going to fall on you as the buyer. You can come in slightly under asking them, but we still aren't seeing huge price gaps between the asking price and the purchase price when that home is priced right. So be sure you consult with your agent, make sure that they're providing comps for you to analyze the best price point for you to come in at. And if you are looking to build a custom or semi-custom home in 2023, hang on tight. You are in for a wild ride. We are still seeing supply shortages and employee shortages. Be sure that you have everything in writing. Be prepared mentally to make substitutions and expect delays. New build prices have not come down with the existing home prices that we've seen. So if you are looking for a deal here, move right on along. Again, I'm Janet with Radiant Realty, your Montana realtor. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos drop. Have an amazing week and I will see you next time.